So, we're going to clean my beaded lizard. Okay. He's hiding his little rock. I guess it's really not that dirty. Maybe I'll just clean his water for now. Ah, fuck it. I got to show the whole thing anyway, so we'll do it. Nasty water. Pull this guy up. So last time I, I cleaned this guy, <clears throat> um, I actually just put on some like work gloves and then had him crawl into my hands and then just moved him that way. Uh, when I unboxed him, I pinned his head, grabbed him, and held him that way. Kind of just feeling it out because I haven't really moved him too many times, seeing what's easiest. The gloves were definitely easy. Um, it did take a minute because he didn't just crawl up onto it. Uh, pinning it, I could do that every time, but I also just... I feel like that's the meanest way to do it. It's you grab them gently, but would I want to be fucking pinned and held like that? No, so if I can crawl up onto someone's hand, I probably would prefer to. But I don't trust the baby enough to stick my hand down there without the glove, because the glove is just a little bit of protection. Whether or not it could bite through it, I have no idea, but mentally it makes you feel better. When you put your bare hand down there, Honestly, I just don't want to deal with it. Am I going to die? No. Am I scared of it? No, not really, but do I want to deal with it right now? I kind of got a lot of shit to do today. I prefer to not get bit by this big lizard. That might ruin some of my plans or make it a little bit more difficult or frustrating to do so. So, I'm going to just use the glove. I mean, I might as well. Oh, you stretching your mouth. And basically, these are just like some, you know, work gloves. Nothing crazy. Whether or not it's real leather, it could be pleather. Who fucking knows? I don't know. I got them at the, uh, like AutoZone or something. Uh, so, yeah, let's put this little one down here. I don't know if I can bite through these or not, but I feel like this is just the, the best way to do it. It's been eating pinkies for me. It's been eating great. Pinky, chicken hearts. Um, I'll just leave it in a little bowl and it'll eat it. So it's not eating them off tongs. And uh, yeah, basically just want to see if this guy will crawl up into my hand. Okay, so here's a jump. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Pretty much I'm going to just use the snake hook as like a hook and then get it under his body. And if you just reach under his body and he jumps, it'll scare you. But if you start with the hook and kind of get him used to getting something under his body, I feel like that'll work. So we're going to start with the hook and kind of lift him up onto my hand and then just go about it that way. Let's go in front of his shoulders. Get him up onto my hand. And then let's see if he'll just walk up onto it a little bit more. He might back up. We'll try and move with it. Perfect. Don't want him to fall off. Step off my hand. Alright, nice and simple, okay? So super easy with the glove on. I mean I don't want to feel like, or I don't want to deal with it. Uh, when it's bigger, I feel like that'll be easier to, you have your hands, you know what I mean? Right now you're working with fingers and smaller animals. It's just, that was nice and simple. No need to pin it for right now. I like it. I think I'm going to stick with that way for right now until it gets bigger. Eventually you take the glove off and, and you know what I mean? Does that really matter? No, I unboxed it with no gloves. You want to see? Go fucking see. If you don't, then don't. I don't care. If you want to do it without a glove, go get your own beauty lizard and do it too. I mean, it's great. It's a cool little lizard. His name's Opie Taylor. His name. I think it's a her. I bought it as a female. So her name is Opie Taylor. Super cool. I wish we could have Gila monsters. What's that? Mm hmm. 
But yeah, we can't. And uh, this thing's really not that dirty. So instead of hosing it out, okay? Paper towel, okay? Right? Little bit of water, bam. Some of that, bam. Quick wipe down. Little food bowl. Just a little hide. She's eventually gonna come out of the rack. I'll end up putting her in like a little small, probably like one of these vision cages with a cool little dome light. Um, but for right now, I think the rack works. Open the glass. Alright, that was Captain Blackbeard. He's a leather back. Orange. Is he orange or orange red? Or red orange? Or red? Was it? I think it was orange leather back. Orange red? I think it's just the orange leather back. He's definitely a leather back. He's orange. I don't see any red in him because he's not that dark. He's the brighter orange. So, yeah, orange leather back. Super cool. I'm sure I'll get one more, maybe eventually, a female just to have it. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna end up expanding either way, so it's like, I like the, I think it's called Wiblets, little white ones or something like that. I don't know, they got cool ones, so we'll see. They got some that are like so silky smooth, it looks like, like a ball sack, like an old man ball sack, honestly. If you see those ball sack bearded dragons, you'll know what I'm talking about. It looks funny. Um, bearded lizard. Got sidetracked. Thing about ball sack. I, I, I mean, I felt confident in that first one. No? Fuck, I felt so confident. He didn't even, you know what I mean? I left the hood. It's all good. <laughs> I don't want to commit. <laughs> okay, he just stretched his mouth out. Fuck it. We'll put the glove back on, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to the plan, alright? I was gonna get off the plan and, and and I know it's gonna work, but you know what? Stick to the goddamn plan. All day I could do this with my hand. I got that. It's easy, you know what I mean? Now, yeah, I could just switch hands, right, just to show you, but no, I'm good. I test it out, it's the first time, or the uh, second time moving them, you know what I mean? Super cool. Okay, that'll be no problem. Okay, this is learning, okay? All new territory, this is how you learn, this is how you make progress, confident progress, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, that's enough of that. Got the beaded lizard clean, Miss Opie Taylor. Super cool. It's a Heloderma Horridum Exasperatum. So they got like four or five different kinds. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's five. Could be four. We'll go with four to five. <laughs> yeah, four to five different kinds. And then there's the Gila Monsters too. So in California, you can't keep Gila Monsters. They're the prettier versions. But you could keep Mexican beaded lizards. So I got a Mexican beaded lizard and that's the prettiest one because the rest of them are like black. Darker. Okay. Come on, let's see if we can get out. Beaded lizard and a dragon. Come on. No interest. There you go. Come on. There you go. You smell the beaded lizard? Going through my hand like a tunnel? Sketchy. Watch that shit bite my hand right now because it smells some it smells some beaded lizard. Bro, what are you doing? I don't like that. Why do they push up against you hella hard with their nose? I know they're like nudging, but like, does that mean I'm about to fuck you up? You better move your hand. Alright, that's good progress. See? Coming out again. Last time I pulled him out, before I just transferred him, he uh, like jumped off my arm and started running across the room. You know what I mean? And I didn't chase after him, but I had to slowly get after him. He bit my ear. Something about my gauge, that white one, he bit it hella hard. Yeah, he's super cool though. You know what I mean? I definitely need to pull him out more. I don't want him. To... Oh shit! I don't want him to do that. Come on, slit. Let's not play this game. That head tilt is hella cute. They're like thinking. We're gonna get him back in the cage before <laughs> before this causes too much of a ruckus. Okay, I can't wait to, I'm gonna be moving soon and this is pretty much gonna put everything into a reptile room. So I'll have all the snakes in a room. I think I'm gonna build him. Well, he'll be in this enclosure, but I'm gonna have everything in its own, like its own separate room. So if I pull him out and he jumps off me, it'll be set up to where it'll, it won't be an issue. Right now I'm in a studio and I prefer not to chase him around in here which it's actually set up where it's not that bad but for some reason I get frustrated and it just doesn't help and that's my story so we're just gonna end it on that note I'm Schmo thanks for watching subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Instagram um, yeah get out of here now